Okay, so it's like a couple days later and uh, I got some questions as to what tractors were sitting in the weeds. Well, I don't really call them weeds, it's just some underbrush here. Uh, that's the 4230. Yeah, that's the 4320. Uh, 4320, I believe, I'm not 100% sure, but I believe the oil pump screen is plugged up. Uh, so I'm going to be dropping that pan here, I don't know, sometime this winter. It just, it just don't sound quite right. And if you're talking about this tractor, this is a 40, I think it's a 47 John Deere A. You've seen this tractor before, guys. This ain't nothing special. Um, yeah, this tractor is going to be restored at some point. I'm going to bring it in. It does have some heavy rust to it, but you know, tires are fair. Not not matching in any way. The tires are fair. I'm going to turn it a bit. It's not locked up. Um, yeah, it does run. I've had it running. As a matter of fact, I've driven it down here. Uh, this is a slant dash A. 47, I think it's a 47 slant dash A. It's rough, but I like the tractor. Uh, it's got a, you know, the two speed high low. Uh, yeah, I like the slant dash A personally. I think it's a really cool tractor. And there's a slot there for the light bulb right there. Um, yeah, so I just figured. You know, if you guys don't know what it is, I'm going to tell you, it's Slant Dash A. <laughs> uh, this thing was bored 40 over. That's what I was told. It's supposed to have M&W pistons in it. Uh, I will be tearing this tractor apart because it needs help. I got to have to pull the head off. And this is no real big deal because the guy that had this thing before me, I bought it out of Ohio. And, you know, not the brightest purchase that I've made. It wasn't by far the brightest purchase that I had made uh, because, and I have all the stuff. I got the water pump and stuff, but this guy was just throwing shit together to uh, to go to a tractor pull. You know, I mean, didn't even have the the generator on it. Uh, but yeah, just really, uh, Timothy had the spark plug out of it. But anyway, yeah, which is not a good idea. But anyways, yeah, so he was just throwing shit together just to get it to the tractor pull. I mean, it's missing more bolts than it, than you could possibly imagine. Like right here, I can see that there's bolts missing and the mud daubers has got it all jammed up pretty good. But uh, he claimed he redid the carburetor, but he doesn't even have the right bolts in there. So what I'm gonna do is actually pull the head Pull all this stuff out of here. Pull the few God darn it. Now I can't get that damn thing in there. <sighs> Timothy had it off. I know he did. Well, maybe he didn't. I did. Okay, so I need to be right-handed to put it on. Uh, so anyways, uh, yeah, I'm just going to pull the head. Possibly have to pull the block apart. See what's inside. Um, yeah, it's a, not a bad tractor. just needs some TLC. And I kind of like this tractor. It's... Uh, I like the ass end of it, and I'll tell you why. I like the spokes, the spokes in the shaft, the drive shaft, and I love, god damn, you're right, there's weeds growing up around this poor thing. Um, yeah, I love that. I just love that they used to cast John Deere in the rear axles. Uh, yeah, so... It's actually got a decent seed on it. It's a John Deere seed, obviously. I don't see any spiders or anything that could possibly bite me. But, uh, you know, over the years, there's been some improvements or disapprovements of it. Uh, there's a panel there. I don't know what the hell that is. I do not have distillate, the distillate tank because this is a distillate model. I think they all were, to be honest with you. Clutch works. You can hear it. Uh, brakes do not. Those things are seized up tight as a pig's ass. Uh, this does, though. You know, all the gears. It'll go through all the gears. So the transmission's good. I think I made a video about this thing and what I should do with it. You know, should I part it or should I repair it? And overwhelmingly, I think everybody says, oh, you, you can't part that thing. you got to repair it. So, 
true to my word, I guess I'm going to have to repair the thing. Uh, I'll probably end up with a lot more money in there than what it's worth. Uh, but I don't know. You know, maybe an OLF uh, repaired or rebuilt John Deere tractor might sell for a little more if I'm going to sell it at some point in time. But, you know, I got more projects than a few floating around here. And we're coming in on soybeans. I'm winding down on hay. Uh, the speed rower's gone. Thank God. I just want to give you that little update. But the speed rower is gone. That's a 72-4320, by the way. Uh, speed rower's gone. I no longer own it. Uh, I own that. They actually just wiped everything away. It's gone, so I have that mower back again, which is fine. I know what's wrong with it, the little bitty quirky things that are wrong with it. But, you know, I still, I go to the field and I work all day with it. Come home, go to bed, wake up the next morning, fire it, fuel it, fuel it, fire it, and go to work all day again. She continues to go. So, yeah. But anyways, yeah, that, four, that John Deere A, is just one of the many projects. Uh, I'll tell you the projects I got to do. First in the list of pride projects is at 6200. Next would be the 5020. Next would be that 4320. Uh, and then just normal maintenance crap on all the other machines. The 4430 that's in the building there, I may possibly do that one too. Might, might be in the list a little higher than some of the others because I got to pull the cab off and get the primary pump. Uh, worked on. Primary pump is leaking oil, whether it's a cracked O-ring or a hole in a in a tube. I'm not 100% sure, but that's going to have to be done too. So I hope I answered your questions with what that tractor was in the in the weeds. Oh, and another thing, uh, I know somebody voiced their concern about my online store. You know, just becoming a uh, focal point of my videos. It's not going to be a focal point of my videos. Uh, I make videos. Uh, I've been asked multiple, multiple hundreds of times to uh, produce a clothing line or cl clothing style product. And uh, I'm going to do it. Uh, it's not going to stop me from filming my projects that I'm going to do. Uh, might make the projects a little easier depending on how well the clothing store goes. Uh, if it goes really well and I have more money than I know what to do with as far as, uh, well, which isn't probably isn't going to happen, but, you know, if I have a good income from it, I can actually uh, do things a lot easier because, you know, farming for money is a lot harder than farming with money. Uh, I know there's a lot of people in this area that actually farm with money and, uh, well... It's just an easier lifestyle. When you've got money to burn, and sure, you can go out and buy things like that. You know, you can go buy things like that. But I'm not farming with money. I mean, that's paid for. <laughs> that's not. But that is. Everything else is paid for. The only thing I owe money on is right there. Right there. Uh, the other thing that I owed money on was the mower, and that's now gone. But, uh, yeah, so if the web store does really well, and like I said before, it's, it's not just going to be One Lonely Farmer products. It's going to be, I'm going to have affiliate programs so that you can just say, hey, you know what? I just tore the ass end out of my pants, and I need new pants anyway, so I'm, I need to buy Carhartt pants because, you know what, Carhartt works really well. Uh, if you're not a Carhartt guy and you want to use Levi's, that's fine. Levi's, you should be able to get Levi's on my site, too. Uh, there won't be any One Lonely Farmer uh, logo on them unless you want that, and then you can tell me, and of course, I will get that size in, I'll have it logoed, and I'll ship it off to you. But it's, you know, of course it's going to cost more. Uh, but for the most part, it's One Lonely Farmer stuff now, continually growing. Uh, I have someone that is going to be managing this store. I know somebody voiced that concern. How are you going to do all this stuff? I got somebody that's going to be managing the store. I will be working on the website hand in hand with two people uh, so that it is updated all the time. I pay them. It's, it's money, yeah. It's costing me money, so don't think I'm getting rich on this thing either. But anyway, so I hope I answered some of your questions. Um, yeah, and as always, uh, if you like my videos, please comment rate and subscribe.